everyone, Lauren here. You know, it's been a few years since the last video for knee pain, but we're still getting so many wonderful comments about it, so much great feedback that I really wanted to be able to offer you guys another option to be able to practice on the floor without putting any weight on an injured leg or ankle. So most important things about this video before we get started, if you haven't already, talk to your doctor, make sure you're healthy enough to practice this, and bottom line, listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, that is your ultimate teacher. Um, so that said, let's get started on our backs. Maybe bend your knees, plant, the soles of your feet and just let your knees, if it feels comfortable, drop in towards each other. Closing your eyes and resting your hands on your belly. Just start to breathe here. Feel the floor supporting you. Feel the touch of air on your skin. And feel your belly breathing into your hands. Sometimes when you're injured, it can feel like your body's betrayed you. So just feeling into your body and feeling safe doing so can be really powerful. I invite you to take this opportunity to remind yourself that you are safe right now, that it's okay to relax. Start to deepen your breath a little more. See if you can fill up your hands, maybe even move your hands with your belly breath. Take another breath or two. Release your palms by your sides. Separate your knees and feet about as wide as your hips. And continue to breathe deep in your belly. Notice how just by breathing, your spine is doing a subtle cat-cow. So just by breathing, your body is doing yoga. As you deepen your breath, start to move your pelvis in line with your breath, tilting your pelvis forward as you inhale, fill your belly. And curling your pelvis under as you exhale. Just take a few tilts through your pelvis, inhaling, maybe your head moves on the floor and exhaling. Just rocking a few times. When you can't be on your hands and knees and do cat-cow, kind of take whatever options we can get, and this is a great alternative. Bring your pelvis back to neutral. Go ahead and cactus your arms out to your sides opening through your heart. Starting with some subtle body yoga, and we'll start to move here in a minute. Tuck your chin towards your chest and lengthen the back of your neck, your neck as much as you can on your mat. Take a deep breath in. And see if you can just lift the crown of your head off your mat. Your voice might sound weird, your neck might shake. Take one more breath. Exhale, release. Let's do that one more time. Tuck your chin towards your chest, really lengthen through your whole back body it, like someone is pulling the crown of your head long. Tuck your chin in, inhale, exhale, see if you can lift the crown of your head off the mat, shake it out, whatever you need to do. Take a breath, exhale, release. Lift your knees in towards your chest. Keeping your arms cactused, 
twist gently towards the left, knees hovering, inhale, exhale to center. Just a few gentle side to side, almost twists here, inhale, knees towards the right, exhale, draw to center. Starting to work out our core a little, inhale, knees to left, exhale, center, inhale, exhale. Go ahead and hug your knees and towards your chest. Maybe rock a little side to side, rolling out your spine some. And then if it feels comfortable, so whenever I hug my knees under the chest with a knee injury, I actually hold onto the thighs. So if your knees need to be up like this, you can do that. Wherever they fall. From here, if it feels comfortable to you, flex through your toes and lift your legs. Maybe your legs straighten, Maybe this is all you got today. Interlace your hands behind the base of your skull. Gently tug your neck long. Release your head into your hands. Inhale and exhale. Lift your shoulders and elbows off the mat. Again, waking up the core here. Inhale, release. Open your elbows towards the floor. Exhale, lift up. Two more of these, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold at the top. Now see if you can tuck your pelvis under and lift your tailbone off the mat. Take a few little pulses here, getting into some subtle core work here. Oh yeah, one more, and release. Hug your knees into the chest. We'll do just a little bit more core. So keeping your right knee bent in, interlace your palms behind your head again. Exhale, lift up, twist across your right leg. Start to straighten that left leg as much as it will straighten. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left knee in, right leg extends, twisting. So right elbow to left knee, inhale, release. Take a few twists to either side, moving with your breath, waking up your core. Let's do one more to either side. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Extend your legs long on your mat, and let's start to do a reclined sun salutation. So inhale, arms up overhead, flexing through your toes if possible. Exhale, roll up through your spine and fold forward over your legs. Maybe readjust on your mat if you need to. Inhale, lengthen your spine long. Exhale, fold it forward. Then go ahead, curl it down one vertebrae at a time. Almost like you're scooping your belly out like a bowl of ice cream. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do a few of these supine sun salutations. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, curl up through your spine. Fold it forward, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, heart opens. Exhale, fold it forward, roll through your spine. Arms lift overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more of these on your own pace. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, curl it up and over. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, release. Coming to sit up, we'll do a warrior variation, so hug your right foot in, sole of the foot on the mat. Inhale, arms lift. And exhale, go ahead and cactus your arms. Gaze up. Left foot flexed. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus. Really trying to sit up nice and tall here. One more breath here. And this time, go ahead and open the arms into a bit of a twist. 
inhaling your arms up and forward. We'll bring the right palm behind us, left elbow to right knee. Trying to twist from your core more than torquing with your elbow. Look over your back shoulder. Breathing deeply. Bring it back to center. Inhale, arms lift. And exhale, release your leg. If it feels comfortable to you, press your palms into the mat. Maybe lift your hips a little, just to engage your lats a little. And release your butt. Left knee in. Foot flat, right foot flexed. Inhale, arms long, spine long. Exhale, get some cactus going with those arms. Really trying to almost hug your elbows behind you together. Inhale. Exhale. Cactus. One more inhale. And this time exhale, just open into a twist. So this is a warrior variation that you can do while seated. Inhale, arms forward and up. This time, left palm down, right elbow to right knee, or maybe you just hug the leg. Yogi's choice. Look over your back shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Release it forward, release your legs. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, curl all the way down to the mat. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. From here, let's move into a variation of triangle pose that you can do. I'm gonna move so my head's on the mat. I invite you to do the same, get comfortable. Um, so this variation, you can do laying down. We'll bring our legs out as wide as you can. Spin your right toes out. Keep your left toes facing up, flex the feet. And this is the funky part. So you might have to kind of wiggle your way over, lift up like you're in triangle, right hand reaching for right shin, gaze down or up, breathing through your side body. One more breath here. Exhale, release back to center. And let's just take it over to the other side. Wiggle however you need to. Left toes face out this time, right toes up and wiggle it out. Maybe make sound effects, they're encouraged. Left hand to left shin, right arm up, stretching through your side body, breathing deeply. And exhale, draw back to center. Draw your feet together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll it on up, forward fold. Bending your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, straighten through your spine. And release, forward fold. Roll up to a seat. From here, bend that right foot in again. Flex through your toes. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Using your core, twist towards your right, and maybe this left elbow comes to the outside edge of that knee. If it doesn't feel comfortable, skip it or modify. Look over your back shoulder. Breathe. Come back to center. Take your right foot across your thigh, if that feels good. Right hand behind your hip, inhale, arm up. And exhale, take another little twist here. Release, release the leg. Straighten it out and let's just switch to the other side. But first let's press our palms into the mat. If that feels good, see if you can lift your butt, engaging your arms a little more and release. Left knee draws in, inhale, arms up. And exhale, take a little twist. Yogi's choice here. 
inhale, arms up. And this time, take that left foot across the thigh, left palm behind you, inhale, the other arm up. And exhale. We might be improvising here a little bit, but it feels so good to twist. So let's enjoy the ride. Inhale, arms up. And bring it back. And let's go back. Do inhale, arms up. Palms to heart center if you're feeling warm. Right elbow to left knee. One more breath. Final twist. You can do it. Exhale, release it forward. Drape it over your front thighs. Roll it on down. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Maybe rock a little side to side. Go ahead and drop your knees over to one side. Taking a moment to breathe here. Taking a little side twist. Knees come back to center. Roll it to the other side. Taking a few breaths. Drawing your knees back in. Release your legs long on your mat. Maybe roll up a blanket or a pillow to put under and support your knees. Palms open to the ceiling, legs relaxed. Coming into this final resting pose. Returning to our breath. And feel free to stay here in this relaxation pose for as long as you'd like. There's no rush. Sometimes it feels good just to lay on the floor and do nothing. And then whenever you're ready, come out of it at your own time. Thanking yourself for this practice and thanking you for practicing with me. I'll see you next time.